Welcome back. This is such a fascinating week talking about toxins and detoxination. You call it detoxination, right? That's um, right. Yeah. So we're here with Dr. David Root, Dr. Daniel Root, and Anne Marie Principe. Um, so I'm just loving this discussion. And in the last episode, we talked about a little bit about your protocol, sort of an overview. And I have a question about the niacin. So you guys use niacin. I take niacin daily. Probably not in the doses you use, I'm going to guess. Um, but I'm curious, do you use IV niacin? Do you use oral niacin? And you talked about using, you don't use the no flush niacin. You want the flush. So I'm a little bit curious um, if people are taking niacin at home, should they use a regular niacin that flushes? Should they use niacin that, I mean, this is obviously if they're well, doing no, it at home. My guess is they should do it under the supervision. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not suggesting they do this, do this program at home. I'm just saying for like people who are just doing a regular, like healthy supplementation at home. If you need detoxination, you need to be doing that with, um, under the guidance of a professional. That's my suggestion, but, um, cause that's a little intense, um, especially going in and out of saunas and exercising and all that stuff. But I'm curious about the niacin and what you guys are doing, what the protocol is. The niacin that we use is immediate release, pure nicotinic acid. Uh, the non-flushing kind actually does not create or set up the conditions that uh, make this protocol work. And uh, lipolysis is, is uh, something that my father uh, in, uh, introduced in this broadcast, but uh, it, what niacin does for us is it actually sets up what is known as rebound lipolysis or lipolysis. And that rebound is where we see the, the massive mobilization of these uh, xenobiotics. And uh, unfortunately the no flush or um, you know, like the niacinamide does not set that condition up. So it has to be pure uh, nicotinic uh, acid. Excellent. And what dosages are you using? Well, in a two week wellness program that we now can do, uh, people will average about an 1800 milligram dose, but we start you at 25 milligrams and work you up. You have to titrate up. And the research that my father alluded to that I found uh, really actually shows that 500 milligrams is where we start to see the magic occurring. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, we just continue to titrate you up uh, so that you continue to set up that uh, rebound. And one of the reasons I wanted to bring that up is there is, um, there's a thing that happens with kids who um, are trying to get out of, like trying to pass a drug test and it's highly toxic. They'll take a whole bunch of niacin and they'll take it like 2000 milligrams at a time when they're not used to taking it. And it's very toxic to do that. That's why I suggest if you're going to do a detoxification program, you go to someone who knows what they're doing because you can really hurt yourself doing that. Am I correct on this? That's not a good thing to do. If you take 2000 milligrams without uh, titrating up, yes, right. you can hurt yourself. Right. And so what sort of conditions does this help? When should people think about, you know, I really need to go through a detoxification health and wellness program. My sense is we all have a toxic load mm -hmm. just given the food the we, we drink, in. the air we breathe, the, um, the food we eat, the water we drink, the air we breathe. Um, and, and so it almost makes sense for all of us to do it at some point. Um, and you have actually written uh, a book I want to highlight that people can uh, get on Amazon. That's where I bought my copy, Sauna Detoxification Using Niacin, uh, following the recommended protocol of Dr. David E. Root, and it's written by Daniel Root with his dad, uh, Dr. David Root. Um, when, when should people be thinking about this? Great question. Uh, what happens is, is that uh, we're accumulating toxins our entire lifetime. Uh, some people, uh, like Anne-Marie, were uh, acutely poisoned, and she needed the 30-day medically supervised program. But my two-week health and wellness version, uh, people can do at home. However, we do recommend people uh, come to our center and actually have us administer it because the two weeks that they're with us, they're dumping the massive amounts that they've accumulated their entire life. And then from there, they can continue to uh, do this protocol 
uh, maybe once a year, or I like to do a five day mini version every six months. But uh, most people are toxic. They, we, we just have had so many different ways that we're being polluted. In fact, there's over 100,000 uh, chemicals that are manufactured each year, and only 10% of those have been actually tested for human safety. And out of that, only 1% has really been tested in combination. And you know what happens when you mix chemicals in the lab? They, they, they tend to do all kinds of weird things, and that's going on in the body. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the things that uh, people don't recognize is like fluoride is actually a neurotoxin and uh, it can calcify the pineal oh, gland yeah. and aluminum. We're, we're actually getting aluminum from all kinds of sources. Uh, we've got uh, the flame retardants uh, fl or uh, formaldehyde and carpets. There's all kinds of ways that we're being poisoned. We're putting chemicals onto or into our body every day. As a matter of fact, uh, there was one study that showed that women on average will put 168 chemicals uh, you know, unto their body every day. And, and, uh, I actually have seen another study where it was 515 chemicals. Yeah. I'm on this new, um, I'm on this new, uh, <laughs> rampage to change all of my cosmetics and body products out to completely organic, non-toxic. And it's not that easy. It's not that hard once you set your mind to it. Um, but you really have to set your mind to it. Cause it's amazing how toxic when I started actually checking out my products, I'm like, Whoa, like it's amazing how toxic they are. Um, let's so. bring Anne Marie back in. Um, Anne Marie, when uh, I mean, you described how sick you were and how much better you have felt over time. What are the things you do now to help continue mm -hmm. to eliminate the toxins, but also to avoid them? I was raised um, in a very healthy environment. My parents were um, kind of pioneers long before their time. I grew up with a sauna in my home. Wow. Um, my dad juiced and used wheat germ back in the 60s, and everybody thought he was weird. I can tell you I have five brothers and sisters. Not one of them is overweight. All are in good health. All look far younger than their years. And I attribute that to growing up healthy exercise, good diet, sauna. So when I learned about this program, I wasn't as um, questioning or um, afraid of it as other people were. You know, many people are intimidated by a sauna, exercise, and vitamins. That was always a part of my life. Um, once I finished the detox, um, to begin with, I was so grateful to just function like a normal human being again, um, I immediately went to work reaching out to other people so that I knew other people were suffering as, as I had been and wanted them to get well. Um, there were over 500 of us at one point that did a study. And we do know now, um, in, in me speaking to other first responders, of those 500 now, 19 years later, only two of those people who took part in this program have passed. And considering that nearly 3,000 9-11 survivors have passed of their illnesses since that time, mm -hmm. that speaks so much about this program and what it did for people. Um, for me, it was just the catalyst to continue eating healthy, exercising. Um, I, I've had other bumps in the road. I had a brain tumor um, and I have had breast cancer. Through both of those illnesses, I once again did the detox to get me through those surgeries. I have chosen to do everything holistically. Um, I chose not to do chemo. I chose not to do radiation. And my oncologist um, fully supported this and this is someone who is well regarded at Dana Farber up in Boston. And her whole belief is that you are what you eat and your, your patterns of exercise, taking care of your health, eating well, make the difference in whether you need chemo or not. Mm -hmm. And this is not just her, her speaking out of hand. These are studies, published medical studies that have now come out that show that people who exercise, eat healthy, live healthier lives, usually do not need chemotherapy. 
That wow. speaks wonders to what the program does. Who, who would want to do chemotherapy for six months at a cost of half a million dollars? Oh, I have so many stories. Wow. Let's talk about this some more when we come back in our final podcast with Anne-Marie Principe and Daniel Root and Dr. David Root. I'm just so taken with this. Mm -hmm. It's part of the war against your brain, but detoxification is such an important part. Stay with us. If you're enjoying the Brain Warriors Way podcast, please don't forget to subscribe so you'll always know when there's a new episode. And while you're at it, feel free to give us a review or five-star rating as that helps others find the podcast. If you're considering coming to Amen Clinics or trying some of the brain healthy supplements from BrainMD, you can use the code PODCAST10 to get a 10% discount on a full evaluation at amenclinics.com or a 10% discount on all supplements at brainmdhealth.com. For more information, give us a call at 855 978-1363.